I crave salad every day and we eat it year round. But in winter, I love adding a little winter component to my winter salad. And today I'm going to show you three winter salad recipes that are not only absolutely delicious, but also great for meal prep. The first recipe is a roasted butternut squash quinoa salad. The second recipe is a warm goat cheese salad. And the third recipe is a orange and pomegranate winter salad. Let's start with the butternut squash winter salad. For that one, you will need, well, obviously, some butternut squash. Cut off the ends of the squash with a large, heavy and sharp knife and then stand it up on a stable surface and cut it in half. Be really careful here and use a seesaw motion to protect your fingers. Once it's cut open, take a spoon and scrape out the seeds and the fibrous strands. Then take a vegetable peeler and peel off the skin. I like to peel at least twice over the same part to make sure that the thick skin is completely off. Then slice the squash halves lengthwise and lengthwise again and then dice them. And once it's all diced, add to a large baking sheet, drizzle with avocado oil, sprinkle with sea salt and pepper and then mix it all together with your hands and spread out in an even layer. Add the seasoned squash to your 400 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for approximately 35 minutes or until it's golden. In the meantime, cook some quinoa. My favorite way to cook quinoa is in the instant pot. I add one cup of quinoa and one cup of water to it, seal it and set it to one minute on high pressure cooking time and wait for full natural pressure release. Once the butternut squash is roasted, take it out of the oven and let it cool down completely on the baking sheet. So just put it aside until it's completely cool. Then get a large salad bowl and add plenty of washed arugula the cooled down butternut squash, one cup of cooled down cooked quinoa, and some chopped pecans. Look at this little trick I used to avoid getting a cutting board and knife dirty and have the nut pieces fly all over my counter. Just use your lemon squeezer and crush two to three times and ta-da! Add some dried cranberries and it's already time to prep the delicious dressing. For that, add a quarter cup olive oil, one cup balsamic vinegar, the juice of one clementine, three chopped up fresh sage leaves, sea salt and pepper to a sealable container, seal, shake and pour over the salad. Now mix well and enjoy. The next salad is a warm goat cheese winter salad. And for that one, you will need some chopped up cranberries. Chop them up really small and then add black sesame seeds and hemp seeds and really mix them and combine them with your hands. Then go get some goat cheese and take about a teaspoon or so in between your hands and roll and roll and roll and roll some more until it's a super smooth ball. Once it's nice and smooth, roll it in the seeds and place on a plate. The more compact the little balls, the better they keep their shape later on when you warm them up. So make sure you roll them really well and also make sure to press the little seeds and the cranberry into the balls so they stay stuck and don't fall off later. Continue until you used up all your goat cheese and then set the goat cheese balls aside. Then get about a third of a small red cabbage and slice it finely into stripes. You want about a cup of sliced cabbage. Add the sliced cabbage to a salad spinner Rinse it under cold running water to wash and then spin dry. You always want to make sure that your salad ingredients are as dry as possible or else they will water down your dressing. Add some washed spring mix lettuce to a large salad bowl, your sliced cabbage and then prep the dressing. Add two tablespoons olive oil, one tablespoon sesame oil, one tablespoon balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon tahini and about a third of a tablespoon honey. 
sea salt, pepper, and then seal your container, shake it, and set it aside. Just before serving the salad, preheat a large pan over medium-low heat and add your seeded goat cheese balls to the hot pan and put on the lid. Let them warm up for just two to three minutes, making sure to remove them from the heat before they start melting. Add to your salad together with some washed and dried blueberries and then drizzle with the dressing. Mix well and enjoy. For the third of the three winter salads, we will need a large head of romaine lettuce. Slice that into fine stripes. Take your time and make sure that they are thin stripes. Add to a salad spinner and rinse under cold water to wash off all the dirt. Then spring dry really well so no excess water waters down your dressing later. Set aside and get two to three oranges. Cut off the skin instead of peeling it by hand because you want to make sure that as much of the white skin is cut off as possible because this is what makes your orange pieces in the salad bitter. So make sure you remove all the white bits and pieces. Then cut the orange into thin slices. Get a large salad bowl and add the romaine lettuce and orange slices and some pomegranate seeds, chopped pecans using the same trick as before. This is a trick that my husband's aunt taught me. I absolutely love it. Then get either some blue cheese or cambozzola and break it up into little pieces. It's a super important component of this salad and I swear you will love it, even if you don't like blue cheese generally. Set the salad bowl aside and make the dressing. For that, add a quarter cup of olive oil, one tablespoon apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon honey, one tablespoon Dijon mustard and three sage leaves chopped up finely into a sealable container. Shake and then pour over your salad. Mix well and enjoy! Now, if you want to make the salads for lunch the next day or the day after, use a tall jar and add one to two tablespoons of the dressing to the bottom of the jar and then add all the chunky ingredients layered one by one. And lastly, the lettuce. You don't want the lettuce touching the dressing or it'll become soggy. So put the lettuce last and then put on a lid and store in the refrigerator for up to three days. I hope you found these winter salad recipe ideas inspiring. I hope you're gonna make your own. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture, post it on Instagram and tag me. I'd love to see your creations. And if you've enjoyed this video, it means the world to me if you subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you with my next video.